Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Do Some SGFs on STO for some reason. With me, Pajaro Claw. So, this time we're in Kitama Space Elite. Um, last time I just gave a bit of an overview about the channel and its direction in the coming weeks, months, years, centuries. Um, yeah, and I did all that in 12 minutes. So now we're going to be doing the, uh, Kitama Vortex, Kitama Records, something along those lines. Um, basically we'll be killing more Borg, except this time we've got two of these gates to destroy. And then we've got a very special fight near the end. Um, yeah, this is another pickup group. Um, I'm recording this literally just after the... and uh, listening back to the, um, previous episode, so... I've turned down the audio a bit, so hopefully... It's a bit better now. Um, okay, now how are we going to do this, guys? Okay, those three seem to be going that way, so I'll go around and help this guy. Uh, so the way to do this event is to um, each like, split the group up. One person guards the portal in the middle so that no joins go through it. Um, the other, oh shit, don't fire at the gate. I hope I didn't piss it off. Um, yeah, one person guards the gate so the probes don't go in. And um, everyone else destroys these nanite generators. Um, I hope he manages to safeguard that gate. When we destroy two of these generators, Borg Cube will come in from the top and we have to blow that up. Um, that'll be fun. Oh crap. That gate is really pissed at me. I'm staying away from it. I'm going through this asteroid as well. It's okay. We've got technology that, you know, um, cloaking through the asteroid. Yeah, in that episode. Oh crap. Nope. No draining for you. If I recall correctly, that's how the limiter still works on that. Oh crap. Where is the impact? Ah oh, crap. Ah, oh, really? If I didn't launch? God damn it. Well, <laughs> torpedoes collided. Now, one problem with this game, I suppose it's, it has to be this way because it's an MMO, but if you're even, if you're fairly competent, you can solo a cube. Um, I mean, now that I've said that, I'm probably going to fail, but, um, it's not incredibly difficult. Uh, like I'm, I'm not in a ship that's meant for. Um, well, I suppose it's technically meant for this, but uh, it's this is a cruiser. It's not meant to be DPS, and I'm still holding my own against a cube, completely alone, except for my Delta flyers. Um, trying to focus the one side, but. I mean, I'm probably not going to take this down in any decent amount of time on my own. Mostly because I'm I'm not DPS, I'm a tank. Um, some would say it's also because I'm in a... Dreadnought cruiser and... Ah, you know, oh, they're not the best, you should be in this ship. Well, no. I'm in this ship, so suck it. Oh, and now I've got help from... Another cruiser over there. Together we should be able to take this down fairly quickly. They're not too much of a threat. If you played SEO you know that, but then again it's an MMO and you know, certain artistic licenses have to be taken. And although they are not particularly tough cubes, they um they'll arbitrarily kill you sometimes because they've just had enough of you. 
and I can respect that. It's annoying, but I can respect it. Um, I still maintain that this is probably my favourite MMO ever. Um, probably one of my favourite Star Trek games ever. So, um, yeah. I mean, I played, played Bridge Commander, although um, that was only fairly recently because I couldn't get hold of it until about a year ago. Maybe less than that. But, um... I still feel like this is just a very good Star Trek game overall. I mean, it's fairly well developed. Um, you've got tons of options. And an MMO universe style... Uh, an MMO style game really suits the Star Trek universe, in my opinion. So, um... And unfortunately, we didn't get the optional uh, pro managed to get through, but... Oh well. It's always another day. And I need to blow my nose, because I've got a cold at the moment. You might have noticed. Make sure I'm targeting the right thing before I start shooting. Sorry for the poor camera view, and possibly you hearing me wipe my nose on camera. Although it's nice to have a anime, it's kind of irritating how much you have to refresh it. I mean, I've never had a hangar bay before, um, but yeah. I'll grab it on the last because this thing has no shield, so it'll do a decent amount of damage. And it also won't move it, so it won't irritate other people. If you're wondering why um, I was so concerned about it moving stuff the last time, it's because like for setting something up, and, uh, you're about to like fire off something. Like, that does error effect damage and then some asshole moves it out of the way for you. That can be really annoying. So, um, I try to only use Graviton Beam on things that can't be moved. I also, in my science vessel, I'm very careful with using uh, repulsion beams. For the same reason. Let's stop these probes. Try to help stop them. I don't know what my delta flyers are doing. I mean, I've got them on patrol or intercept rather, so they'll focus on shooting down the um, org uh, torpedoes that would like destroy me extremely quickly. Which I think is probably the best thing you can do with just one hangar bay on this um, type of game, like the STFs. Um, again, I could be wrong. I'm not like a uh, micromanaging player that's super duper at the game. I mean, I'm not stupid, but I know how to play the game and everything, but there are some things that still elude me. And to be honest, I don't know if I can be bothered to find out. Oh, shit, that gate really wants me dead. Why is it always me? Shoot someone. Oh, someone else left. That's why it's always me. I've got a quitter here, folks. Mm. Lost connection. I suppose it's... That's possible. It's happened a few times. Now's not a bad time to saucer separate. As long as I keep an eye on my saucer. I'm a real saucer now. Okay. Oh, probably should have waited a little bit more for that other Delta Flyer to be destroyed. Oh well. Hmm, my saucer sections could be in trouble. Oh, it's picking on my gate. That's why it could be in trouble. Bigger than you are. Again, I was wiping my nose. Sorry about that. We'll make a drinking game out of it. No, well, I wouldn't recommend it. 
Oh god, we've got to stop these probes. Brings around. Spears are nothing but irritations. Probably got a real problem. You know, my source is doing pretty well for someone that's shooting at the gate. But it's probably because Klim is taking all the punishment. Cool, the saucer sings it. We dropped to below half health. Okay, do I have basic movers? I do not. Okay. She's maintain course. Let's try it straight for the gate. Do not pass go, do not collect a hundred pound. Ah, oh, there's my saucer. Flying around over there. I mean, in my opinion, saucer separation is very much just a vanity thing. It's, it's fairly useful, especially seeing as I now get the sawn off shotgun spinal lance. That's pretty awesome, but um, beyond that it is pretty much just vanity, and I am perfectly okay with that. Uh, you may also hear furious tapping on the keyboard. Uh, that's because I map fire all phases to spacebar. And instead of, you know, just firing it whenever they finish cooldown, I just like to keep tapping it. it means I have to keep an eye on this. Um, I've also mapped fire torpedoes to numpad enter, but I'm not using that as much anymore. I'm sort of picking my torpedo launches now. Whoa, that was close. That was very close. Okay, go back to the saucer. I need your hit points. strange. I was, like, healing my saucer, and then it came back to me and then I was healing myself. Interesting. Fascinating. Okay, and now we fight the assimilated scimitar. The scimitar, if you will. I mean, it's called the Valdor, although we all know a Valdor was a different class of ship. Oh shit, I got too close. That was stupid. I don't recall exactly what I've done to uh, the ship now, like when it activates the cloak, but it used to be like when it, I think you got within like 5 kilometers, it would start the countdown. Or something along that line. Oh, there it is. Now, one way to get out of that beam is instead of like trying to exit it from the sides, is just to get out of its weapons range of 10 kilometers. Uh, I believe it's an insta kill. Yep, looks like it. Or it could just be very high damage. Oh, it's too much momentum. Get us out of here. I don't recall a track to be actually works on it when it cloaks. Like I said, you can keep it in its place even if it cloaks. That would be awesome if it could. Ah, oh, damn it, I was about to lance it. I have my depth fires going on the attack because it doesn't have any torpedoes anymore. Oh, hi! Oh, there go my different flyers. Down failure on radiation. I want you to grab on being on this because it will move it. fairly easy to destroy so don't worry too much about getting caught on them. Especially if everyone is like 
firing at them because Valdor is cloaked. Okay, so he seems to have used some beam on it. Don't know if that prevents his cloak. Um, I don't even know if Scattering Field can uncloak it. I've never been lucky enough to be able to try. I mean, you won't see any, like, spectacular attacks from the Lance in any STF, just because, they, because the Borg and all their minions have such high health, um, you won't see, like, any drastic drop in percentages. Although I've got, like, you can regularly get above 20,000 damage from the Lance, um, either in shotgun mode, or it's like 10k each blast in normal mode. Um, come on, ah, god damn it. It's the worst when it cloaks when you've got visibility active. Then it's a race to wait for it to decloak. And at least maneuvers to get out. You can get yourself into a very good um, rhythm, kind of like I have here, where I've always got this active by the time it cloaks. Or decloaks rather. Um, also, I've got the um, Sovereign Wide Angle Quantum Torpedo Launcher, so I've got 180 degrees of fire, in case you were wondering. I know one of those. I know one of these dispels that, but I can't remember which, so I just used them both. That's the kind of player I am, people. We did. I'm still gonna get out of its range just in case it still pulses. Okay. Well, well done everyone. GG. Even though we didn't get the um optional. Um yeah, that was Ketama Space Elite. I'll see you next time where I'll probably be doing cure, because I think that's the only other one I can possibly do on my own, even though I've had a bad history of it. Um so yeah, that'll be fun. I'll see you next time.